This case study is designed to help you understand eligibility requirements for the R&D tax incentive. Rutimec is an Australian company specialising in the manufacture of custom alloys for specialist applications. The company uses an electrolysis-based process for processing raw rutile ore into titanium. Rutimec was interested in replacing the existing carbon anodes that were consumed during the titanium manufacturing process with inert anode technology. Inert anodes could also increase energy efficiency and lower production costs. However, the existing inert anode materials do not work effectively with titanium. In an earlier R&D project, Rutimec had identified a new material that had the potential to produce titanium, produce less byproducts and reduce energy requirements. Rutimec needed to establish the viability of the new material in a lab-scale pilot cell and then in production-scale cells. To do this, the company designed an R&D project and consulted Oz Industries guidance products on the business.gov.au website. Rutimec self-assessed that it could claim two core R&D activities and two supporting R&D activities. While it believed the new material could be made to work, Rutimec did not know and could not predict exactly how to configure and run the anode, even after a thorough investigation of existing industry knowledge. It knew that it would need a different design and setup to the very basic benchtop prototype it already had. Rutimec tested the new anode material in a pilot scale electrolytic cell. They ran the prototype anode in a cell designed to produce titanium. Strong electrical currents were passed through the anode in the presence of titanium oxide at high temperatures. The experiment ran for an extended period of time to monitor the production volume of titanium, the behaviour of the anode, including any degradation and any build-up of byproducts over a range of configurations and conditions. The test showed that with a certain set of configurations, the new anode material could be operated effectively in the pilot cell without significant degradation or undesirable byproducts being produced. In order to test the material in core R&D activity 1, Rutimec needed to engage a specialist manufacturer to make the anode. The method used was well known. For this reason, Rutimec self-assessed that this activity did not meet the requirements to be a core R&D activity. However, the company self-assessed it was directly related to the experimentation in their core activity. Because the activity produced goods in the form of the anode prototypes, it also needed to be undertaken for the dominant purpose of supporting a core R&D activity in order for it to be a supporting R&D activity. With the success of the pilot scale test, Rutimec decided to test a full-size anode in a production cell. This testing activity differed from the pilot scale tests in core R&D activity 1 because anode was much larger, the current was significantly increased and the production cell was different to the lab test cell. Rutimec's researchers knew that these changes would affect the performance of the cell, the anode and any byproducts and that these outcomes could not be reasonably predicted based on the previous experiment or on existing industry knowledge. The company developed a hypothesis about how the anode might behave and designed an experiment to test. The company self-assessed this activity as a core R&D activity. The testing of the new production scale anode needed to be conducted during a production run. The tests were only required to be conducted periodically and at a frequency to enable accurate statistical analysis. Otherwise, the production cell was not run for the purpose of the experiment and the expenditure of running the production cell was not claimed. Rutimec again engaged the same specialist manufacturer to make a one-off production scale anode. As the activity was directly related to the core R&D activity, testing the anode in a production scale cell and again was undertaken for the dominant purpose of supporting the core R&D activity. The company once again self-assessed that the process of manufacturing and installing the anode was an eligible supporting R&D activity. 
Rutimec maintained comprehensive records and documentation, including the results of literature searches, laboratory notebooks, experimental protocols, experimental results, research reports, manufacturing reports from the production cell, dominant purpose assessments for the production of anodes, and contractor reports from the anode manufacturer. Rutimec also added columns to its run sheets and quality control sheets. This made the sheets a record of the R&D activities and provided an area for the operators to record observations, test results and general comments. The company used its financial management software to identify costs associated with each of the core and supporting R&D activities. They also documented the rights to use any background intellectual property and details of the rights around any resulting intellectual property. Rutimec was aware that these records could provide valuable information for future projects and form part of the company's intellectual property portfolio. For more information, visit business.gov.au or call 13 28 46.